Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So let's go back to our slow stitching. And uh, this time, I've decided to do a little bit of doodling. Do you guys like to doodle? Let's do doodling with, let's doodle rather, with our um, needles and thread. I've done a little bit, show you here. It's not perfect. <laughs> I gotta do the rest of those. And uh, I'm not looking for perfection, which is obvious. I'm just doodling, just having fun and making a new, new dimension on any existing um, image. So what I did over here, here's a, I have a little extra from the last time. Let me show you. Um, and then we'll move on to the next doodle that we're going to do. So let me tie a knot on this working thread and it's not working. Sometimes I have a hard time putting the thread through the needle. This time, I'm having a hard time putting a knot. All right, here we go. So I'm looking for a V-shaped form, basically. You can see I kinda, I kinda um, outlined a little bit there, and then I just kinda tuck it, and then come back here and then go on the opposite side and then bring it back to the center and then tuck it and then come back again. I think I did three on each, each side. It's pretty simple. Um, so I did three of that V shape and then I, once I got that last one nice and tucked in there and secure, I go back close to there and I just then do a daisy stitch. Just like that. Then tuck it and then I'll go to the next. To my next V. Okay, and then I go back to the next of that, go across, go down across, come back to the bottom of the V, come back again and secure that stitch and do one last one. They don't have to be the same. They could be nice if they're the same, but you know what? I'm not looking for perfection. Maybe next time around. I was playing around and just kind of doodling with my needle and uh, and thread, and that's that's what came up. And. Uh, going for it and the, our daisy stitch okay and then I'm gonna go back and secure it oh it's so pretty in the back <laughs> I'm being sarcastic <laughs> so and that whoops I got, I got a pin in that. Okay, put that away. That's too short. We'll just throw that away. So the next one I have, I have a pink one here. I don't want a pink one. The next, we're gonna go zigzag. I'm gonna do zigzag. This time I'm going to do orange and 
and a two strand. Let's see if I'm lucky today. I had my, ooh, that was, that was good. One try and we're in. All right, we're on a roll. Okay, so this time around, I'm doodling a zigzag. So what I did here, because my zigzag is not perfect, it, 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 I would have to practice. And what I did is I could just mark dots with equal distance. And then on the opposite, I just went, I staggered, staggered my dots. So here's what it looks like. So you go down to the first dot. Now you can go, you can pick up and then come back up if you like. And then you bring it to the bottom dot. Pick up, come back up, and then you, you go to the... Uh, now you see where my zigzag is coming and just try to keep the um, equal amount of um, fabric you're picking up on on your turn so you'll have a nice uniform so that's what that's what my my doodle is going to be on this what do you call this this stitch? There is a name for it. I can't remember what it is. Hearing bone? I don't know. I can't remember. I have to look it up. And then go from from there and so forth. Okay? Like that. And then I'm going to make it um, a little bit more interesting. I'm going to go take a nice dark green, 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 green thread where it's going to pop. Now I have a lot of, uh, did I drop my scissors? I have a lot of working thread on my desk right now and it's a mess my desk is a mess okay I split it I'm not sure how many I have three we're gonna go for three I'm gonna go for three and I'm gonna do French knot uh, this guy is probably too too big for those little eye so I'm gonna go with a bigger needle here bigger eye yay oh I'm on the roll I'm doing good so what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna go add French knot. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that. And I'm going to continue on and then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Let me show you. I'm just going to go back. How you guys been? Super, super busy in my household, you guys. It's like Halloween holiday is coming and... Uh, time is just going by so fast and it seems like we're not getting nothing done it's creeping on us really really fast here so especially when you have an event going on right we have a big party this weekend Halloween party uh, yearly event my husband 
host a Halloween party. He just loved Halloween. Anyways, so busy. So I wanted to squeeze in a little moment here to just kind of pull myself back to a slower pace and just relax a little bit. And don't let the the hustle and bustle just take my day away. So, so here's what I'm doing. Give it a try. It's so much fun. Come and doodle with me with our thread and needle. So that's what it looks like. What do you guys think? So I'm going to continue doing that all the way across. Another doodling I did is over here. You can see they're not even. They're not even. You can even make them big like a daisy stitch. I think the next one I'm going to do daisy stitch over on this section. And then when I bring back the camera, I will show you guys what that looks like. So let me finish this and then this one and then do the daisy stitch and show you all what I've done um, for this time around and uh, and see what it looks like and see how we like it. So see you in a little bit. Okay friends, so this is what I was able to come up with. I decided to go ahead and do another set in the center. And this time around, I really try my best to keep them pretty uniform. So I really like that. I'm going to keep practicing doing that and creating more um, pattern um, in that way. And instead of going in, in a grouping like this, I can even go do a line or something. And so, and here's what this look like. I think it's called herringbone. I don't know if I'm even saying it right. Herringbone here, herringbone. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. So, or a zigzag. And then, and here, here's another set of the flower, alternating with the um, French knot. I use really, really light color fabric. This time I did daisy stitch grouping um, instead of just uh, single stitches on this one this one I did the daisy stitch super light color I hope you can see it I really love how it turned out they look so cute and dainty I think so um, so yeah it's coming along I think the rest I'm just gonna go ahead and do my sashiko stitching so all right guys i'll leave you with that i hope that you're having a great week thank you so much for tuning in and um, i will catch you again next friday take care everybody and have a great weekend and a week ahead till next time bye bye